Hey guys, Zuljin here, and welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. Thank y'all for all the amazing tips on the game, you guys. Some things that I just don't realize when I'm playing. Uh, like you guys mentioned that there's fuel that is needed for the generator, uh, which is on my back. So I suppose I just have to put some fuel in here when I do get it. I've been collecting some compound, and I think it's time to put together a trade platform. Uh, I do need to put aluminum together, and I did figure out what was going on with the vehicles, and I'll take, I'll, I'll show you that in just a second here. So now that we've got that going on, we can do the trade platform. Okay, yield, compound. Ah, I see. So we can put in, we can put in something to get something else. That's really neat. Uh, that's gonna go really good next to this resin, man. The resin refills over time, uh, which is freaking amazing. I could just get it over and over and over again. So I expanded the base a little bit more. I've got a couple other places. I put a fuel condenser together. Not one together, but uh, it's ready to go. I just need a little bit of copper. And I've got another platform that's sticking out here in case I need it. So I need the compound for this. That's right. For some reason, it this goes in multiple sections, and I did not know that. So, he had the option to change it. All I did is just put more power in it, and it gave me another option to build something else. And you can switch between seat and storage. And I think I would like to do storage. I don't know if I'll be able to put a seat on top of it, but it looks like it goes really, really high. So, I don't know. Let me just go ahead and put the compound on it here and see what happens. There we go. And uh, I can make it now. Storage. Check that out. Snap. Okay. So now that's set up. Uh, now let's see. Oh, I could, yeah, I could put all kind of stuff on there now. So how do I put my seat on? Do I have to just power this thing up again? I think I do. All right, well, we've got plenty of stuff set up for power. I think I wanna try to put some things on these things to give it power. Uh, let's try a wind vane first. That was made with titanium. Okay, wind vane. I can put that here. And let's see, is it going to generate power over time? I don't know. It says no power. I don't know if it's actually generating power or not. It doesn't look like it. But it does fit. So I'm not really sure. There's no way that I can do anything to it. Alright, let's take a look at it. Let's put it here. See, I have the option to just hold it. I know this is supposed to take fuel, supposedly, the generator, which I don't have any more on me, but I'll tell you what. Let's um, let's put the battery here and start charging it just like that, and we'll also make um, a solar. So the solar goes there, and that should pick up power during the daytime. Oh, now it's working. So what happens if I take away the wind? Hmm. Is it a height thing? <sighs> I really don't know. But solar seems to work really, really good. Let's put another... Let's grab a couple more solars. We can make it out of compound? So that's pretty cool. Okay, and let me just put this wind vane right here for now. That fills it really, really quick. That is very, very much worth it. Okay. So now that I got that put together, why can't I... Um, why does it not give me the option to do anything else with the vehicle bay? See, what's weird is it was taking fuel from me earlier. How about this? Can we disconnect this now? I don't know how exactly to do this. 
I'm thinking I'm gonna have to yeah it's it's not giving me the option to do that again let's take the solars off and I can put them on something else that I need like this thing all right that will generate power I like that one solar on each should actually do pretty good uh, this I think I'm gonna go ahead and put am I gonna need power for this thing as well it doesn't request that I have any power what about what about if I put power on this thing that's the research deal no where's my solar I thought I had so I thought I had put solar somewhere hold on the fuel condenser might need some too we're gonna get to the bottom of this and I want to work the fuel condenser to see what happens here. I have no idea what just happened there, but we'll um, we'll smell this stuff. So the solar panel goes active again. Do I still? Okay, I have it in my backpack. I got it. Okay, we got copper as well, and we needed copper for. I think we needed it for the yes, the fuel. Okay, we got one of these in here. Now, what do, what can we do with this? So, let's see. If we put, what does this take here? This is aluminum, this is compound. I don't know how much of any of this we need. And lithium, coal, wow, titanium, compound, resin, organic, laterite, malachite, aluminum, copper, okay. Um, yield zero. If I just put compound in here, what if I put resin? Let's try resin in it and see what happens. Man, this thing yields a lot. Okay, so resin, resin, resin. Is it that much? It's not allowing me to do any of that yet. Hydrazine, coal, titanium. Okay, so we can yield compound with three resin. We can also yield organic with resin. Okay, now I see. So I guess it takes more units. Okay, let's let's see what happens here. I'm gonna try to just fill it up and see what I can get. That one's out. I think you can get... Oh, it might just be... It might not be the different nodes here. It might actually be just one per node. Yeah, because I'm not getting anything there. Okay, so that was resin. Is there any other... We can put compound. What happens if we put... I hate to put titanium there, but just out of curiosity, what happens if I put it there? I'll take the titanium as well. Okay, it it's, this kind of acts like some storage here as well. I could just put stuff. So yield titanium, I can get compound, I can get resin, I can get organic, I can get malachite. Okay, so if I take off something, yeah, I can. I still can. Yields three malachite with this. Yields one aluminum. Okay. Yields one malachite. Yields three. I see. Okay, so it's just an exchange. Well, that is really cool. So I need copper here. Let's cycle over to copper and see what I can get for copper. I get one copper out of this, and if I take away... A resin that doesn't change it. If I take away a titanium, that changes the yield. Okay, so how about this? Let's take away the titanium. I'm not really in love with um, with getting rid of that. Let's get something that we haven't really got a whole bunch of before, and that's organic. I don't know what we can do with organic, but I will try it. We get it pretty fast. 
This is maybe the equivalent of like carbon <laughs> that you would get from other places. Okay. Okay, now I got a bunch of organic. So, if we can move organic into it. Oh, look at all the organic we got too. Let's try it out. Oh, <laughs> I messed up. Okay, organic, organic. Let's move around this side. Organic. Is that everything? No. Organic. Let's take off the compound and put organic too. Okay. I just saw something pop up. <gasps> we can make copper. It <laughs> Okay, so it takes a lot, but it's just resin and organic. It is just resin and organic. So let's see how this works. Let's see. <laughs> what the hell? Is it going to just come back? Oh, it's the trade. I got you. I don't know how long it takes. That's pretty awesome. It just left. I was not expecting that at all. Okay. Uh, do I have another solar panel on my back? Yeah, I do. Oh, is it back? Is it coming back? Yes! Dude, that's amazing. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie, you guys. That is freaking epic. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, let's go put in our copper. And... Uh, wait, I already put some there, huh? Do I have... Oh, this takes... It takes four altogether? I thought it only took three. Hmm. Maybe it does take more. Oh no, there it is. Fuel condenser. Beautiful. Okay, so we need power for it. No problem, we're gonna make a solar. Alright. Very nice. And it's slowly filling. Good. I'm going to make another one of these. These solar power things are great. You guys, thank y'all so much for all the uh, the comments. It really helps. Look how fast it feels. Okay, so what are we going to need for the fuel condenser? Like, what is it going to require? I'm interested to see. Also, what in the world do we do with this thing? We're gonna have to get something for um, for fuel, I guess, or more fuel. We already put a lot in it, but I don't think it took it because it wasn't complete. I don't know. Okay, so this is the fuel condenser. So it's just gonna turn straight power into fuel? Is that what's gonna happen? Yeah, hydrazine. What? Oh, baby. That's pretty epic. That is pretty darn epic. Let's make let's make some more solars. Okay, what do we need for solars? Compound needed. Okay, we can get plenty of that. I'm not even worried about it. Let's try to do another hydrazine. Dude, this is radical. <laughs> this is freaking ridiculous. I love it. You just generate hydrazine. Oh, and we ain't got to look for it anymore. Okay. That's so good. Okay. So now that we got that, let's put... Can we just take the hydrazine now? Can we... Okay, it didn't just, like, auto-consume it. Okay. We've got that on it now. Why did it allow me to put storage on it if I can't use it? I'm pressing tab and space. Alright guys, I'm sorry about this, but I made a tremendous cut because I could not figure out what was going on with the vehicle. Now, 
I still don't know if I messed it up for certain. I even tried an experiment here with another one and I ended up flipping it over by accident. I don't know, it's it's a really bad mess, but I, I can't figure out what to do with this thing. But I did learn a lot. I ended up doing a live stream last night. People taught me a lot about the game and I think I'm ready to finish off the episode here. So I made a 3D printer, or just a printer. It didn't say a 3D printer, but I'm pretty sure it's a printer. And um, I needed a seat is what you guys told me. So. Let's craft that, and we're going to be able to use the seat anyway, even if we can't attach it to our current deal. There we go. Okay, so seat, and will it attach? It does attach, so I should be able to... No, it, it attaches. Yeah, I can. I can get in it. Okay, save and game. Oh, <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god. Can I drive this thing? Does it just bring me to another planet? What the hell? What the hell? Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. So does this keep bringing us by different planets to try? I think it does. I think it just lets you travel until you see a planet that you would like to get around. Or, this is the, the orbit of the planet. This looks amazing. Look at these planets that are coming up. There's a red planet. I have no idea. I have no idea what to do here. Okay, that is my home. That's already my home. So, it just lets you orbit to a different spot? Is that what it is? I'll tell you what, let's do this. Oh, I just pressed something. Barren terrain. Oh my. Is there any other planets we can... Oh, yeah, exotic? <gasps> we going to the exotic planet. <laughs> this is freaking bananas. Oh, wow. Okay, so it just... You can select a landing zone. Okay. Here we go. A little choppy on the way in. <laughs> Look at this place. What? Wow. Um. And I am. <laughs> this is like so uninhabited. <laughs> Good lord. What in the world? Look, there's all kinds of. Okay, uh, let's get out. Let's get out here. So, how do we... So I do have a little bit of oxygen coming from this place. Now, the, the question is, can we connect stuff to this to like make a base here? How does that even work? Or do we just collect resources and go back to our home base? It would be nice if we could just have an off-planet base altogether. Can I just, can I tether here? I can tether, okay. So I can tether from here. Can I take things that I find and put them, I can store them. I can store exotic things. What in the world? I can store a lot of research here. Uh oh, there's another, there's a storm coming. There's a storm coming, hold on. Hold up. I'm gonna try to grab. Well, I, I tell you what, I better just get in before I die. <laughs> before I die, look at this storm. Look at this storm. Tell you what, while it's storming, I don't know how much fuel I use when I'm just up and around. 
But man, we can get research pretty easy like that. What a cool place. Okay. And we can go, let's see, this was a radiated planet. Alright, let's go back to exotic. Maybe we'll land at a different spot. Yeah. Hopefully we land at a different spot. And we'll see how it goes. I'd like to see about how to make a base on something like this. A little bit choppy on the way in. Man, this is an exotic planet, huh? Okay, I guess the storm is over. Or maybe not. <laughs> Get back in. The storm is still rolling through. Huh. Alright, it looks like that was the last of it, maybe? Nope. Still blown. When I get out, it's like it refreshes. Come on, storm. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. I like how I got some research to go back with. I could probably get some more, right? That looks like another one right there. Yeah, that looks like something I can pull back. Uh, let me get out of here. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, maybe not. I thought it I thought that was something that I can get research from, but apparently it wasn't. Okay. Had some power resource there. I tell you what. Let's try to tether a little bit. And see what's out here. There's something over there. Okay, there's more research there. Yep, there's some right there. I knew it. So, unique plants tend to have these things on them. This is from a different planet, so I have no idea what to expect here, you guys. But I got, I, I filled up my storage. I don't know what else I should try to grab while I'm here. I don't know. I know you guys taught me that this um, this just requires organic, and I just I I just didn't realize that the whole time. So let me get organic here, and I'll try it out right now. Organic. Look at that, and that's a power generator for me. Very nice. I can also put that onto things. Like my, um, like any of my uh, platforms that I have. Okay, anything else we want to get here? I think we should go back with the research that we have. I really do. I think that's the best case scenario here. I can pick these tethers up, by the way, too. So let's just pick these up put them back in that way I'm conserving them for places that I know I'm not gonna revisit well this specific spot I don't think I'm gonna revisit okay so now oh there's a cave down here too what's in there anything specific I don't think so okay let's tab in I don't know how much fuel it takes to go one place or another but I'm gonna see this is amazing, man. This game is so cool. So in my live stream, I played around with the rover and stuff, and I do think I'm going to get that going too because you can get a lot of research done with that. Okay, so we pick now. We go back to uh, the place that we were at, where our home's at, I guess. Exotic. Yeah, that's our other spot there. Do we just have to travel a little bit? Arid? I didn't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I want to go to Arid. I think it just brings me around the different spots. Yeah, because it just gives me the option now to, it's going to give me the option to go to this planet maybe, but I'm not ready to go to that planet yet. I want to go back to my home base, which is much further that way. 
I might just have to drift a little bit. Radiated. Jeez, man. Exotic. Radiated. Let's go around the radiated and see. It doesn't look like I'm using fuel. The, the canisters aren't disappearing. Or are they? <laughs> I might have to go to one of these planets just to get fuel. Okay, let's see. Where am I? I do not see my spot. I mean, I see where I am, but I don't see how to get back to where I was. Terrain. There's. This is another terrain type planet. I got so much research I want to check out. I just want to go home. I just want to go home. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm using much fuel for any of this. Okay, maybe we just drift, like we stay in orbit like we did the first time, just to get around. I'm looking for my spot. Yeah, it, it just looks like we continue to drift until we find something. Okay, okay, okay. So... These aren't my spots. Yeah, you just rotate around. I like this. I like this. So you just go by the different planets until you come by the spot that's yours. Then you hit the icon. Then you can travel to that specific planet. And that's home, right? That's home. So all you do is click on the little circle. <laughs> Dude. Oh. All right, and I just landed exactly where this was. Okay, it's too bad that I can't go to another spot. I mean, I can, but uh, it's in the way. I, I might have to move this thing over. Uh, I don't think there's any moving it over. So the vehicle bay is just, <laughs> it's locked down to whatever you do. All right, well, I did have some research to complete while I was here, too. I'm really glad I made that breakthrough, though, because, like, I was so lost for a little while. We're definitely going to want some more fuel and stuff, too. Um, let's see. I, I want to make fuel condenser because we can, I mean... I want to keep fuel condensing because we can trade it in at the market, but let's get some research. So this research is something that I already found in the cave. That was from my own spot, and it looks like we just got some lithium, which is okay by me. It's more resources. Okay, let's put some of this new stuff on. All right, um, so let's try out the generator that we made earlier, huh? Do I have any organic? No, I don't. <laughs> That's okay, though. <laughs> That's okay. Let's take the solar panels that were on that other vehicle bay and just put them on this one right now. Oh. And we should get some power pretty quickly. And it's close. Let's see here. I I got some other research. I got so much research to check out right now. Come on, a little bit more. Where's that wind vane that we had? I think I had made a wind vane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's not blowing right now, but... Hold on. Let's put the generator back on our pack. Let's take the wind vane and put it here. Maximum amount of power possible, except for organic, which I don't have any right now on me. I could just go get some, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take... I already got solar on me. I can put another solar, though. On my, uh, oh, maybe, tell you what, let's take this again, let's put it right here, let's take the other solar panel that I have, put it right here, okay, I thought I had, maybe, I thought I had some organic for a second there, but I don't, okay, let's get some organic, We 
don't want to make too much of a mess with the terrain. We already have a very, very messy base. <laughs> very messy. If I had to do this all over again, I would make it so clean, y'all. Okay. Um, now, we can take this organic. Put it in. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Open sesame. Let's see what we got. This is the first resource off an exotic planet. Titanium. Trash. Well, not trash, but you know what I mean. I'm looking for research, primarily. Primarily. <laughs> and we still got a couple more to go. So that other vehicle bay, like, I don't know what to do about this. I think... I think I'm just going to cover this up because there's nothing I could do. I cannot flip this thing unless you guys know how. What I could do is just, uh... Just cover it up, though. I think I could just cover it up. Maybe, maybe I could just join them together. Make like a little loop. Look at that. <laughs> I could just cover it up. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not going to mess with that too much. Alright. That's bad, huh? Your base is so ugly, you just want to bury it. Okay, it looks like I'm getting mostly just resources from this. Which is not necessarily terrible, but I was hoping for, like, tech. Maybe I just have to do more stuff with tech. I mean, maybe I just have to, to build more stuff. So, there was a, um, there's, there's the rover needed. Uh, we need aluminum, or aluminum, to do this, uh, to do this vehicle bay to get a rover. And I definitely want to get a rover. So, I guess... I guess what we should do while we're like waiting for charges and stuff like that is see if I can get some aluminium. Mostly what I got. Let's see, this is all compound and stuff. I tell you what, let's get all this compound off and see what I need for aluminium. No, I don't want to do the battery. Where did I get that battery anyway? I, mean, I know I made it, but okay, we definitely want to put hydrazine there. Hydrazine is what we're going to trade away since we can just produce it with power and we get power like tons of it. Okay, so let's get this Hydrazine and just fill up. Just like so. I think I might already have maybe a little bit of aluminum too. Lithium, Hydrazine. Hold on, give me this Hydrazine. I think we can, yeah, we have more, definitely. The sun needs to come out so I can have some power. And we can do one more here. Okay. So now we put this up and we move around to laterite we can get seven laterite for this that all turns into aluminum that's a pretty good deal let's do it let's do it all right so it's gonna go and get us some aluminum here that's really freaking awesome man and as soon as this converts to power I, took, I done took all my stuff off for this we need some wind or something i guess i could do for, i guess i could generate energy with this there's the sun, though. Let me just go grab some plants really quick, I guess. Might as well. Oh, you guys told me that the uh, the wind knocks down... I don't know if I said this on this video or not because I made that big cut. Um, but the uh, you guys said that the tethers can get knocked down by storms. And that's why I, keep, I had to keep fixing it. It wasn't a bug. That's intended. So... <laughs> I have the biggest problem blaming uh, intended features on bugs when I don't un understand them. But that's just something I do. So, okay. Uh, oh, look at all of the goodness we got back. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Let's burn that. More fuel. I like how we can just turn organic to fuel like that. We'll turn that to the side. 
yeah it's gonna continue filling up like that okay that's good all right so here's all the stuff that we need to do the next step here aluminum uh, actually the laterite needs to be smelted first so let's bring this over to the smelter I will definitely do this in a much more orderly fashion I am NOT against uh, actually changing changing planets if I can get my base set up again I would gladly do all the work again to get a more sophisticated setup don't get me wrong this is workable but it's kinda it's kinda janky <laughs> you know alright so I can do here we go uh, compound oh no that's to make the seats I need Yield one ladder right. Yeah, I know that. Where is my uh where's my other vehicle bay? I wish I could just move this thing. I could actually I tell you what. Let me see something here. Can I can I move this? What happens if I actually pick up on the terrain and move this thing out the way? Is that possible? I might end up flipping it. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can do anything like this. Okay, can I just move to another location right nearby? I wish I could move this whole storage thing. Hmm. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm just gonna move to a nearby spot from home. I'm just gonna have to drive out to my landing site. I need fuel? Oh no. Hold on. <laughs> so, I hope I could just orbit like this because I don't have enough fuel. I can land back on the ship. I just can't go to any other planets. Aha, now I understand about fuel consumption. Okay. And wherever home's at, we need to find where home's at and go close to it. So home is right. Okay, I see it now. And this is probably the closest to home that's not home. So we're going to try this, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how far this is away, <laughs> but we'll try it. And home looks like it's... This may be like miles away from home. I can tether all the way there, though, if I have to. I am at a different part of the planet. This does seem like the best case scenario, <laughs> so I think I'm going to call that an episode, you guys, and try to make my way back, um, tethered and all. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the episode. If you did, give me some dab on that like button to show you support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.